Good morning, Rab Boisai. Ah, Lilu Nishmasi Mimarosi Rosmas Mordechai. Oh, I say there are those who just turn on the Good Morning Rabbi Boisai. I just read an email, so you got to be a little bit more enthusiastic. So um, somebody spotted this Pennsylvania car. Thank you for helping uh, all of us finish Bob Matziah. Many would consider this mission impossible, but every day we look forward to some cool shtick jokes and some made-up stories. Anyway, spotted in the five towns yesterday from Pennsylvania. Mazel tov, everyone. Glenn Ackerman, West Hampton, New York. Yisrael Goldstein. Bump into a few MD wires at the oil Chabad. Three MD wires meet at the oil of Lubavitch. On Gimel Tammuz, I rode from Borough Park at 5.30 a.m. When I get there, I meet my cousin from Manchester, Rabbi David, ya- David Yaakov Lewis. He was the MC at last CM in Manchester. You remember him? Yes. Not the rabbi. Yes, the rabbi. And then another MD wire from Woodmere, Jay Nathanson. Photobombed us. So it's beautiful how three different cultures meet somewhere and we have one thing in common the same page of Gemara. I thought this is very nice. I'll, I'll just explain. The first words he says is a trife in a kaila, meaning a traif vessel. He's pointing to the TV screen. Trife in a kaila. And he's saying that all the people there are sitting around just doing nothing. But one guy is doing the right thing. Listen carefully. Here we go. So the try for Nakaila, the last thing is it's in the door. Out of the telephone, and if he said, Oh, don't know the eyeing a man, because it's Tchushiv and Lent. I'm sure all the noise in the back. MDY it is. Elend them down. That's it. MDY is, he says. Okay. I don't know. It looks like some Hatsala gathering. I don't know. Where do we see, listen to this, where do we see that Kola Kula is supported by the Daf? Because it says, Dapa Havanofik Minei, there was a Daf that came out of the Arain, the Yosef Alevei, Sevetari, and the Sevetari sat on the Daf. Kotov, Bididus Daniel Shenfil. Once again, there was the Hatsala baseball game, Hatsala versus, I don't remember who it is. NYPD, thank you. Hatsala versus NYPD baseball game. Big, massive, the whole stadium, whole thing. And our one and only Peretz Chaim Levin giving out Gemaras. Guess how many people he got signed up? 19 people. 19 people? I'm looking for the next Peretz Chaim. Anybody could step up, give out some Gemaras in important situations. The kids are, he's all into it. He's dressed up for the occasion. It's Gishmak to do the da from Grundenwald. Sam Kleiner, Grundenwald, Switzerland. I forgot this tzaddik's name. I think it was in London somewhere. At a chas and a learning. A voice side, this is amazing. This is the Siom in Lakewood by Arnon Arnov. He says like this, Dear Abeli, as a shy and quiet as I am, and as much as I hate the spotlight on me, I decided to make the Siom in my house. I was wondering what made me come out of my comfort zone to do this. I only got an answer this Monday afternoon at 2.30 p.m. when I received a text message from someone that's part of the shir, and he asked me to please call him. I must admit I received many of these messages prior to the siyum, and most offering to contribute towards the siyum, which I answered after learning the daf this past Friday about funds that one has to lose. It's better to give them fo- towards the siyum than chas v'shalom towards something else. So I called the person up. He tells me that we were in camp together 40 years ago. In camp, Avram Chaim Heller, and how he teased me that summer, and that he was looking for me, and after he saw me on Monday's Shir and Zoom, he's asking Mechila. Wow. I was literally blown away. I told him, I say the tefillah every year in Kippur, and he has nothing to worry about. I realized that one thing in MDY is a family of 25,000 growing, and I'm happy to go out of my comfort zone for a family member, your Talmud. There he is, in his beautiful home. Giving to the Tzibur, not, not accepting any donations towards this uh, beautiful Siyam. And, and 15, 15 daf into the Masechta. It's not, it's not a problem, we still do a Siyam. Dr. Dr. Chaim Levitin, he, he did a Siyam for his father last night. I'm Sechaz Bama here in the Bismarck. Yeah, what? A Victor Fold? Who? He stayed all the way from the charity event? Oh yeah, I do see him, you're right. Interesting. He's moving to Lakewood. He loved it there. 
So we have some Litvisha guys, we have Hasidim, we have uh, all sorts of people. We even have uh, Aaron Arnov, seems like a Svarity to me. The Mesechta, sponsored for the safe and speedy return of all the hostages. Paras HaChodesh, the Nishmas Chayi Ben Moish, the Nishmas Chayi Bas Yosef. Paras HaChodesh, we're forced on efficient good for Brian Abino, Bas, Miriam, Bela, Nisan Al-Kola, Ben Ur Bracha, Ur Bracha, Bad Brian Abino. Paras HaChodesh, Mo'o Landi, the Nishmas Ben Moish, Ben Shmuel, Yehuda, the Meshgiach, the Torah Vedas. Paras HaChodesh, Aaron Frame, and the Schus, the Rebelli, for continuing to the Shemayin, teaching Torah to Klai Yisrael. Paras HaChodesh, the Rufur Shleima, Naftali Harris, Ben Henya Leia, a hidden tzaddik in our generations. Rabbi Isai, I had a very um, unbelievable call with Rabbi Ari Chekina last night. I realized right before I went to sleep that I forgot to speak to him. I wanted to speak to him during the day, I called him up. He told me that his grandson is brain dead. And uh, he said he got such a chizuk, I should call it chizuk, chizuk from people from the Shir, the amount of people that reached out to him. And I didn't know this, he said that since the Shabbaton, Every Friday, he reaches out to, to numerous people, the people he got to know at the Shabbaton, and they all obviously reached out to him. And then Yisrael Goldstein called him from the oil and said, I'm here, I'm davening for you and for the grandson. And this one called, and that one is doing. The kids are unbelievable. The, the, the chizik that people get, he said, the mishpach, you have no idea what's going on. He didn't want to compare it to other mishpachas, but he said, the mishpach of MDY, top, top notch. Give me a lot of chizik. All right, I called him to give him chizuk. He gave me chizuk. Zok the Halegi Gemara with top top of Daf Tes Vav Omed Aleph. Yirmiya Kosav Sifra B'Sefer Melachim B'Kinois. Yirmiya wrote Yirmiya and Melachim and Eicha Chizkia B'Siyato Kosvu Yishaya Mishlei Shir Hashirim B'Koyelus. So yesterday I asked the question: Who wrote? Shir Shirim, who wrote Kohelas? A lot of people thought it's Shleim HaMelech. Then we said it's Chizkiah. Reb Dambi said it's Chizkiah. Over here we see something else, maybe. It's not Mamish Chizkiah. Zok Rashi. Mishlei Kohelas, three lines down. The Siv B'Sefer Mishlei Asher Yatiko Anshi Chizkiah. It says the people of Chizkiah. Val Shir Chizkiah Goram Lem Lasu Yibat Toiro. Chizkiah was Peretz Chaim Levin. Peretz Chaim Levin was Chizkiah. Kedamrim Bechelik Noatz Cher Val Pesach Bisa Medrash Nikra Dovah Shmoi. Our boys say, what's going on here? You all ask me. Mecha Teisa. You bring somebody to the daf. Chizkiah didn't write it. The Gemara says Chizkiah wrote Shir Hashir and Kehelas. His people wrote it. But he causes people to write it. When you cause somebody to learn Toiro, Nikra Shmoi, Taisa says the same exact thing. We could read it inside again, but he just adds one piece. It's on his name. Why? Kids sir, Taisa says the crazy story that his own grandson killed. Menashe killed Yishaya. Okay. It wasn't Shlomo Melech that wrote it? Oh, good point. Shlomo Melech said it. He didn't write it. Said it like a lot of the Nevoas. Different Nevi'im said things and other Nevi'im finished it up. He said the Shirashim, he said the Kohelas. He, these are his ideas. Somebody else came. The, the Anshi Chizki wrote it down, put it down in writing. Copied what? They edited it. You're saying he wrote it? Yeah. They, 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 he didn't write it. He, he said it. They put it down. Hatiku means they, that you take something that you hear and you matik it into writing. Matiki ashmua. Anshik nesis agdoilo kosvu yiches kosh nemasar. Anshik nesis agdoilo. All 120 of them wrote Yechezkel, Shnei Moser, Daniel, Umegil Esther. Rashi goes on to say that, I don't know why, Mechtesa, where, then he says, maybe you can't write things in Chutz Laretz. You can't write a novel in Chutz Laretz. So they had to wait until, you can't write Esther in Chutz Laretz. Where were they? They weren't they were in Eretz, they were in Chutz Laretz. Paras, well, I don't know where they were. I ran. So they had to come back to Eretz to write it. When they got back, they were able to write it. Ezra Kosov, Sifro, Yachas, Shudir, Yomim, Adloi. Ezra wrote his Sefer, Ezra, plus Dibra Yomim until his generation. He wrote down the, 
Genealogy. Misaili le Rav. Domer Rav Yudom and Rav. Leolo Ezra Mubaval. Ad Shiyich Zatz Mubaval. Rav says that Ezra didn't come back from Bavel until he did. The Yichos, he wrote it down. Uh, so here you do write Chutz Laretz. Okay. Umen Aske. And who finished it off? Nechemia ben Chachaliyov. Ezra only wrote until his generation. Who wrote the future generations. Nechemia ben Chachaliyov wrote it off. And that's the theme here. We're going to have a bunch of, a lot of Sfarim, Nevim, or even the Torah was written by one person. But finished the last psukim, whatever that says that the, the author was Nifter, that was written by somebody else. Just want a quick stop. Shlom Aleichem, Yazir Haiste. I'm from where? Lakewood, New Jersey. Did you know about the Siam? You're on the flight here. But otherwise, you would have gone. All right, Givaldic. You, we met yet? We did. Okay. Wait, wait. Hold on. Shalom Aleichem. You, I met once, or more than once. Tony, what's your name? Effie Goldman from Telstone. Oh, Shalom Aleichem. It's a nice place over there, no? You have a view, the whole thing. New Efshe, Efshe Telson, Takya. MDY Telson. Cool. Oh, you're hiding over there. What's your name? Why do you look familiar? West Hempstead? No, that's not why. Month and a half ago. Mid Aliyah. Shalom Aleichem. Where do you live? Uh, no, you see, you're getting confused. You forgot. You made Aliyah a month and a half ago. Yeah, currently Beit Shemesh and moving to Kiryat Malapi. Uh, oh, you so you better have a rain. Until, when are you moving to Kiryat Malapi? Uh, I'm going to Shem, the end of Got it. Okay, so you have a few more weeks here. Give all the... Okay. Zog the Gemara. Omar Mar, Yeshua, because of Sifroi, Yeshua wrote, Say for Yeshua, Ushmoyne Psukim Shabbat Torah, according to this man, Omar, he wrote the last eight Psukim in the Torah. We have who wrote the last day of the Moshe Rabbeinu or Yeshua. So we have a Raya, the Sanya of Yom Hashem, Moshe Eved Hashem. It says in the Torah that Moshe, Hashem's Eved, was lifted. Asked the Gemara, Efshar Moshe Meis, because of Yom Hashem Moshe, or is it possible that Moshe is alive somewhere? He's alive and he wrote Yom Hashem Moshe. If he was alive, it's even a bigger problem. He's going to write something that didn't happen. Okay, no, it just reminded me there's a Maisa Shahoya and I even found it here. <coughs> Cabbage Man, there's a guy that, that uh, faked his death and wrote that uh, he got killed by a truck that had a bunch of cabbage. He was killed by the cabbage. And when they looked at the uh, death certificate, they saw his fingerprints on the death certificate. So it's not, po- how, how did you write it? Here's your fingerprints and you, you have a death certificate. So that's how they caught him. Elo Adkan, because of Moshe. The, until the last day, Psukim Moshe Rabbeinu wrote, and from there on out, there's Yeshua, the Rebbe Yehuda. Some say it's from Nechemia. So again, Rebbe Yehuda Shita is, Yeshua wrote the last day, Psukim. We'll have to remember that for a second. If those eight Psukim are part of the Sefer Torah, how is it possible that Moshe Rabbeinu in his lifetime says, Moshe Rabbeinu says, here's the Sefer Torah. It's missing a psukim. Pay attention. Very, very important here. This is a, this is a very interesting word. Moshe says over the Torah, Moshe, doesn't say Moshe Koysev, it says Moshe Oimer Vekoysev. Moshe Rabbeinu says it over, to make sure he's not making a mistake, he's repeating it correctly, and then he writes it. So Rishonim say, based on this Gemara, and it's Sif and Shulchan Aruch, that a cipher today has to say over the Psukim before he writes down. He says, Shema Yisrael, and he writes, Shema Yisrael. Shem, he says it out loud. That's L'Chathchili, you should go like that. It's not Ma'akiv, but you have to do it. Mikam ve'elach, but the last day, Psukim, pay attention here. HaKadosh Baruch Hu Oimer, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says it. Umoyshe Koysev, what's missing? It doesn't say Moshe Oimer. Umoshe Koisev, Bidema. So this word Dema has a lot of pshat, not a lot of pshat, but there's a lot of raid here. What's going on? Bidema. Simple pshat is, Moshe Rabbeinu wrote it with tears. He's, he's reading his own death, and he breaks down crying, and he wrote it in tears. Some say, the Ritva, the Rama, you say he wrote it with his tears. And those who want to say that, oh, here's a riot that Moshe Rabbeinu was nifter on Shabbos because you can't write with ink, you write with tears. 
It is Givaldic. Very rarely do you see a pshat from the Baal Shem Tov and the Vilna Goin. They both say the same pshat, basically. Dema is a Loshen Mileyachov Dimacho. Dimua. Dimua means a mixture. It's mixed up. It could be, because I remember seeing the Vilna Goin slightly different, but the gist of the pshat is that there's a, there's a big question. The Medra says that the Torah was written thousands of years before Matan Torah. It precedes the world. So what was written in the Torah? It says the Klai Yisrael went out of Mitzrayim. There was no Klai Yisrael. There was no Mitzrayim. So what happened in the Torah? So the Ramban says that the Torah is a tziruf of Akash Baruch names. It's a tziruf of the Shemus. And when the Torah was given, it was repositioned to, to a way that you could Read it, and it makes sense to, to our generations. So, Mela, the last day psukim, the Vilna Goyen says, I, I believe, that the last day psukim were written exactly the way they are today, just they were one long word. So it's hard to make out what's going on in the word. Moshe Meis, it says, Mem Shin, Hey, Mem Sov, you can't read it. Hashem just said, say, put a Mem, there's, 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 a, there's, no, there's no periods, there's no, there's no words. After his nifter, Yeshua just separated, made it into words. I think according to the, to the Baal Shem Tov maybe, it's the same idea that was a little mixed up. It was like something not readable for a human being, not understandable. It doesn't say that he died. It says Hashem's names, and afterwards it became that sort of thing. The Mar Shemesh says that he wrote it exactly the way it is, but because it was in a vua, when there's in a vua, you remove your, your emotions. There's no emotions. You don't, you don't, you're saying what Akash Baruch tells you without understanding, without knowing what you're saying. You're just saying it without emotion. Something like that. Okay. So the point is that Moshe Rabbeinu did write it according to the Shita. Not Yeshua. Moshe Rabbeinu. But it was Bedema. Moshe Nehmer Lahalon Vayorim Elohem Baruch. Baruch was Yirmiya's uh, scribe. He was also Navi, but he wrote down. Mipiv Yikro Eli. It's called Dvarim Eila. Yirmiya told me these things. So it's like, a, it's like Moshe Rabbeinu repeating, doing what HaKosh Baruch says, and he writes it down. It's in the name of Rav, they say, The last eight psukim in the Torah, it has to be one aliyah, you can't break it up. You see that these eight psukim are different than the rest of the Torah. In other words, the Torah, this Torah, right here, the Rabbi Yehuda, that says that it wasn't written by Moshe Rabbeinu. It's its own little thing, written by Yeshua, and therefore, don't break it up. It's its own aliyah, sort of. Says the no, I feel the tamer of Shimon. It's even Reb Shimon. Hoyel v'ishtanu ishtanu. It was written by Moshe Rabbeinu. Just, it's different. It's written with them. It's written without Moshe Rabbeinu repeating. Okay, so don't break it up. We go weiter. Simple things, very easy sugyas. Yeshua, cause of Sifra, Yeshua wrote his Sefer, Voksiv, how could it be that Yeshua wrote his own Sefer when it says in his Sefer Yeshua that he died? The Askei Elazar, it was finished off by Elazar. As the Gemara, that's also problematic. Voksiv, Elazar, Ben Arameis, in Yeshua it says that Elazar died. The Askei Pinchas, Elazar finished off some Sukim. And afterwards, the rest was finished off by Pinchas. Pinchas, Ben Elazar, Ben Aram, Shmuel calls up Sifra, it says that Shmuel wrote his Sefer. Voksev, Shmuel Meis, same question. So, same answer. The Askei God Achoyiz Ibn Asan Anavi. We asked the, the, the Belzer, I just got it this week, the Oitzer uh, HaChachma. I have to learn how to use it. It's, it's not simple. But I use it for uh, Pirush Chai. It has everything. I just asked him, during sale, we asked him, what's the difference between Choyza and Navi? They have to be, you have to be really good at searching. It's not simple. It gives you 180 answers. And you have to read really quickly. You can scan it. You have to know how to do that. In 10 seconds, he says, A Barbanel. Barbanel says, A is somebody that has Nevoa for himself mainly. Sometimes for others. But mainly for himself. A Novi is for other people. So, who wrote the end of Shmuel? God HaChoyza and Nosan HaNovi. Nosan HaNovi, as we're going to see soon, Nosan with David HaMelech. Kum Tzarayin, the Rosh I saw you leaving. Vesha, you ever come, come. You have to leave. Ah, okay, fine. Chapping around, Rabbi, is it chapping around? 
by, by, by Rabbi Yehuda Freilach Sima Shas. So one of the questions, they had a game. One of the questions is, what is Rabbi Yehuda, when, when does he give a person a compliment? When he comes on time? A few, but the answer was, when he comes late. I also, I think, I, I find myself appreciate. I go over to people, it's a good thing. Sometimes I remember even Hillel once came, like five minutes left this year. It's better than not coming at all. Coming late means that, you know, it's embarrassing, walk in. Here's the Rishkoil. He came late, he has to leave early. Standing in the back. You can be invited him, Dave. It's okay. Like, put the video on him. <laughs> 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 well, Gary's uh, shtickle sick. That's why he's in. He Rishkoil to Dave Bemis. Never says a word. Never complains. No matter what. Could you jump into the booth, Bamas? He's here last night. He does, he does every Hebrew shear, and whenever needed, the English shear without a word, garnished. What happened? So we have, if you look on the bottom of Yudalan of the Vase, it brings down all the, it's Mavish, the last two lines, the Asar Eskenim, or the Marisha, and Malki Tzedek, Vayideh Avraham, Avraham Avinu was one of them, and look what it says here, Vayideh Moshe, Vayideh Haman, Vayideh Yudusun, Vayideh Asaf, Vayideh Shloisha B'nei Kairach, these are the ten. Says Gemara, V'lich Shev Nami Eisen Ho Ezrochi, why does it say, Eisen Ezrochi, check this out, Tehil and Perik Peites, Maskele Eisen Ezrochi, is it 11th? Omarav, Eisen Ezrochi, Zeu Avram. That's actually Avram Avinu. Sivacha, Eisen Ezrochi. Uchsev Hasam, Mihir, Mimizrach Tzedek. We're talking about from the, the person from Mizrach. Says the Gemara, Gechoshev Moshev, Gechoshev Haman. Why does he end the last line on Yudalon? Beis, Moshe, and Haman, two different people. Vomarav, Haman, Zeu Moshe. Isn't that the same individual? Uchsev Hacha, Haman, Uchsev Hasam, Bechol Beis, in Nemono. It's a lotion of Nemonot. The one that wrote this one, Peruk Peiches, Maskele Haman Ezrochi, not Eisen Ezrochi. You see this, Eisen Ezrochi? This is Haman Ezrochi, something else. But it's a different human being, not Moshe Rabbein. Moshe Kosav Sifroi, he wrote the Sefer Torah, the Torah, Chamisha Chumshi Torah, U Parshas Bilam. What's this Parshas Bilam, Rabbi? Say? Parshas Bilam. Very interesting. There are those who explain that Parsha's Bilam, in fact, was a, its own Sefer. A whole Sefer about Bilam, and it was lost. That's Parsha's Bilam. Not as simple as we think. Because it should say, and he also wrote, by the way, Parsha's Kriyashma. And he wrote Parsha's Yitzism. I mean, well, what's Parsha's Bilam? That's how they explain it. It's a story that doesn't happen in the Bible. There's something else that's happening on the side of Parsha's Bilam. Why didn't it happen in the middle of it's a very big part of no. It's happening in the background. It's happening in the background. It's not happening in, the, in what's happening. But I think it's not. Okay, I hear. It. It's saying that's why it wasn't even part of it. it initially, it wasn't part. That's why it's a chiddush. That's why it's a chiddush. You're saying your own pshat. It is part of the Torah, and it's all I hear. Okay, ve iyov. So we're talking about iyov now, and we're gonna be talking about iyov for a while. Iyov, we know when somebody wants to describe. Pain and Yisurim in this world, they call it Yisurim Iyav. We're going to see later on, Iyav reached tremendous Madragas. The Gemara compares him to Avram Avinu, greater than tremendous. You can take Yisurim and be Mizakich Yaguf if you're Mikabal Bahava. And one very interesting thing about Iyav is Iyav davened that he should be like Adam Rishon. If you think about it, Adam Rishon, the purest form of humanity, the first human being. So I want to be like other Mauritian. You learn from Mary Biggie's site. A lot of people dive in, they should have a million dollars. One million dollars, a hundred million dollars. What's a million dollars? You dive in, I want to be like Yechleis. I want to be like the Bashem No, I want to be like a Roma Vino. I want to be like Moshe Rabbein. You let it die, you let, your Musagim should be huge. The huge is the huge. That's, that's what you learn from here. What do you, what do you mean? You're Eeyah. What do you want to be like other Marisha? No. You could ask for whatever you want and you push it. And look, he talked to Chief. What? Zakh the Gemara. Misayeh leyeh 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 Oh. So I want to show you this. This is incredible. I, I forgot to ask the bells or I should have asked. 
How often do we see nine shitas? A machlekes, a nine way machlekes. So what's machlekes? When did Eov live? If he even lived, if you see like uh, the third shita, he never happened. That's one shita. There's another, there's a, the Shaila. Is he, is he even Jewish? He's a guy. So I said, this is only for the Eilam here. The, the Eilam in, in America would not even, in England won't even understand. But so, yes, as we were reading this, uh, Eov is almost like the Galavantit's uh, buildings over here. There's a Shaila whether the bones over there are Jewish bones or. Or Goyish bones, and there's a shadow of there's even bones. There's like there's a but they didn't build it for 20 years. But anyway, it's a shadow, so let's go through it real quickly. Did he live in Moshe's time, the time of the Miraglim? He never existed. He was the from the Goyla, yeah, he came up with the Ezra. He was in the time of the Shoftim, like by Shimshon. He's the time of Achashverj. Time of Machashva is more like Shlomo. Kazdim and the Yeshoimrim, that's the the the, the Shita that says he was even he, he's before Moshe Rabbeinu. He was in the time of Yaakov Avinu, he married Dina. Okay, let's see. Here's all the shitas. This is a raya too. Don't worry, oh, thank you. See if Hachat says by Eoiv, me eating a foy. Oh, we have the word a foy. And we, have no, we don't really have this word anywhere else, but by Moshe, because of Milay. Uksiv also, Amuva Amei, Yivada Eifai. Moshe Rabbeinu says, Amei, he's in the time of Moshe. As the Gemara, Bebe Bebe Yitzchok, Uksiv Mi Eifai, you had Tzotzai, it also says by Yitzchok Eifai. Bebe Bebe Yaakov, Uksiv, Im Kain Eifai, Zoy Zazu, it says by Yaakov Eifai. Bebe Bebe Yosef, Uksiv Eifai, Yem Roy. Let's look at that though. Uksiv Mi Itein, Basefer, Viyuchoku. Baiv, it says Viyuchoku. Or Moshe, the Igri, Mechaikik, he's the one that inscribes it. Uksiv. Not in the time of Moshe, it's in the time of Miraglam, which is also, okay, we have to understand. What does Utz mean? So what wants to say it's like a tree. Moshe tells the Miraglam, are the trees in Eretz Yisrael? Me dummy. It's not the same word. Is there that person who has was longevity, he's lived very long, and he protects his generation like a tree? Just two parishes ago in Parish Shlach, it says in the, in the Pasuk, in Perek uh, Yudalad, Pasuk Tess, Sar Tzila Malayim. You remember that Pasuk? Sar Tzilam Aleim. So Rashi says that the protector of the generation, Eoiv, like the Gemara in Baba Vansar Daf says, he's, he's gone. You, they, don't have, they, don't, they don't have to protect it. Right? In other words, you see this idea also that a person that has big Yisurim, a per, person complains, look at all this Yisurim I have, Hashem. But at the end of the day, he goes up there and he's, he's the hero. He's the protector of the generation. Because of him, we're protected. People say, how come, I don't know, the missiles from Iran didn't hit anything. They didn't do it, they didn't do much damage. There's one person out there, I'm just saying, throwing it out, not that that's what happened. There's one person out there that has Yisura Yev, his tremendous Yisura, he's, he's the protector. He's the hero of the generation, nobody knows. You go up there, you say, oh, this guy, he protected us. Yosef HaUmer, Abonin Kamei, the Rebbe Shmuel, Ben Nachmeni, the Yosef HaKomar. Eoiv, lehoya v'loi nivra. So that's the third sheet over here. Lehoya v'loi nivra. Never existed. It's a safer, ela mashal hoya. It's a mashal to give us chizuk. That if people ha- complain about the midas hadin, HaKash Baruch Hu did this, and HaKash Baruch did that. Sometimes you see it. I have, I have friends, Yuri Shemayim, Imam Yuri Shemayim, that a tragedy. So I called him up, and the guy started complaining. I couldn't believe it. Like, wow, I thought you were big Yuri Shemayim. But that's what happens. People they they they, they face a situation, and they make katri. Like, what? How could Hashem? Why would why Hashem do this? Uh, yeah, it's, we should ne- we should never know about tsar. Here's the next line. In all the mitzvah selah tsar, Rashi says we learn from this whole sefer that when a person says something like that, they they told me why does Hashem uh, take children away? It's impossible. You know that was the tsar, and they speak like that. A person is, you can't judge a person. Hashem won't judge him for talking like that, even though it's wrong. 
because it's Bitsaray. The whole Sefer is to say, all of the, all of Eve's friends coming and telling him, maybe you did this, maybe that, and maybe this, and the whole Sefer is all about his Yisurim and how to deal with that. It shouldn't be Mikhail, but it's a Marshal. If it's Hoya, meaning it happened, it's not a Marshal. So he says, I don't like that raya that says Hoya. The Russian call when not, we mentioned him before, Nasan Anavi. Nasan Anavi gave to David Amelach and Batsheva. The Russian call Luria doesn't have anything. Him kipso achaskana. All he has is a small sheep, Ashikona, which he bought by Yichayel. Mihava, what he had a small sheep. He had Batsheva. El Moshel Balma. Oh, so you give me a Moshel. Oh, can I be Moshel Balma? Don't say there's a Moshel. In Cain, I don't like that. Says Gemara. Shmoy b'shem Yir Elamo. What kind of Moshel is that? I'm telling you where he lives. It was on the Nachal Noam 5. It's not what you say. This is once a guy. He came up later on after the Churban. He came back with Klai Yisrael. We know where he davened. He, he learned Torah in Tveria. You may show us the Bemis. It gave me a lot of chizuk. This guy from Tveria. I'm telling you, guy, guy. He's a Rebbe in a Chedim. The whole thing. Came, drove him from Tveria to, to, to hear the Shir. It's Chashem. Meisvei Yimei Shalei Zav Shal Iyoi V'mishosh Shenichon Su Yisrael V'mitzrayim V'at Shiyotzu. We have a problem. Iyoi seems like he lived in the time of Mitzrayim. It says, from the time Klai Yisrael went into Yisrael, uh, into, into Mitzrayim, all the way until they came out of Mitzrayim. Tav Tzvav Am Nebez. We have a problem. He wasn't an Euler Regal. He, he didn't live generations later when Klai Yisrael came back to Yisrael. He lived until Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. Says the Gemara, Eima, Kimisho, Shinichin, Yisrael, Mitzrayim, Va'at, Shoshi, Yatsu. What happened was, HaKadosh Baruch Hu told Eoiv that whatever he had, he's going to double what he has. So he had, he was 70 years old. Hashem is going to take the 70, double it 140, and give him 140 more years. So how much did he live? 140 plus 70. 210. So what we're saying is that's like Mitzrayim, like Mitzrayim, the Sheba Mitzrayim was 210. So he have got 210. They say a joke. They say, why is it that Hashem, that the, the, the Satan didn't kill Eve's wife? He, Hashem said, you can do whatever you want him, just don't touch him. The answer is because if you'd kill his wife, he'd get two wives afterwards. Hashem would pay him back. And he wouldn't be what? Oh, and that's that's the other terrors. <laughs> that's the better terrors, I guess. We can't say it loud. But I'll say what he said. Dr. Factor was known to say controversial things during Sheer. I didn't say it. I was just hoping that he would. He said he didn't want to take away his tsar. He was married. Why should he kill his wife? Let him suffer with her. That's what he said, right? Push up shot. You don't need... Rabbi Isai, you want to hear from Dr. Factor tomorrow? You don't. Okay. Take this little clip. Send it to his wife. Shalom Yisrael. Meisvei. Shiva nevim nisnamu duumas oilam. Big talker. Let's see you deal with that. Meisvei shiva nevim nisnamu duumas oilam. By the way, we have a problem. You're telling me it's oila goila. Oh, sponsor, Shkoyach. Turning of the daf, sponsored by LifeShare Community, protecting families today before tomorrow's unexpected loss. Better loss him. <laughs> he didn't have a choice. Zog to Gemara. Ashi, did you sign up? Um, that's between me and uh, the 51st Airport. <laughs> Ash, I can get you a free one. You want him free? You just have to pay if somebody passes away unexpectedly. Okay, we'll talk afterwards. Meisvei. Shiva nevim nisnabu dumas oilam. You tell me that the that, that, that was a Jew. That was a, from the Oilei Goyle. came back with Klai Yisrael. He's not even Jewish. Veiluay, it says, the Shiva nevim nisnabu dumas oilam, the seven nevim that were part of the, the non-Jewish nevuah. Veiluay and Bilam, obviously Bilam was a guy. Vaaviv, what was Bilam's father's name? Poor. Veiyoiv, no, he's part of the list here of non-Jews. 
Elifas Ateimoni, Ubilda Dashuchi, Vistoifar Anamosi, Veliu Ben Brachla Buzi. So how can you tell me that he's from Noida Agoyla? Says the Gemara of the time Meich, and according to you, Eliu Ben Brachla Lavni Yisrael Avo. Well, the last one, Eliu Ben Brachla. He wasn't Jewish. Voksivim Mishpachas Rom. First of all, Rom means from Avram Avinu. Second of all, it says Mishpachas. A guy doesn't have yichos. What's the mishpacha? Is he telling me a mishpacha? Ella, of course he's Jewish. Ella in buin in big lumis oilam. We're talking about neviim that were Jewish who gave nevuah to the umis oilam to the guy. Hachanami iyov in buin in big lumis oilam. Of course he was Jewish. He just gave his nevuah to the to the world. Al tikul neviim milo in big lumis oilam. What about cheskel yirmiyah? Didn't give nevuah to the guy. Hasam igur nevusai li yisrael. Hachi igur nevusai lumis oilam. Yo, what do you think about today's daf? It's a little shvach? Uh, oh, so I asked yo, because my son is also yo, my favorite daf. I told you about this? One of my favorite daf in Shas, Bob Basar daf Tess. Oh, all these beautiful, the gra, with Yisur Marmel, you get, Hashem tells you how much Yisur you get that year, how much Hanas you get that year. Thing after thing, it was unbelievable daf for me. I loved it. I go to my son after she. I said, "No, it's an unbelievable daf. This is one of the worst daf I'm ever. This is there's only three pictures." <laughs> That's what he said, and he was serious. <coughs> we gotta add on those pictures. He's daf in my heart. Sorry, y'all. Sometimes you get this. Don't worry. Add That's right. We're gonna, we're gonna come. We're gonna get a lot of pictures. Bezer Hashem. All right. It says that there was a chassid in the non-Jewish world, and his name was Eiv. So why not because you bring him here, they should get his award in this world and not in the world to come. He started cursing Hashem. Just take it. It says, Mufurish, that Eiv was, you can't even get out of this. He was the non-Jew. It says, in fact, you're right, it's a machlag stanoim. And this machlag stanoim will explain to us this. You had a question. Is, is he Jewish? Not Jewish? Here, machlag stanoim. The same year, so we have another sheet. Here we go. Sheet on number five. It's b'meish shvaita shoftim in the time of the shoftim. Shinem ar hei natem kuchem chazisem velomo ze hevel te balu. Eve tells his friends, you see what's going on here. Why are you, why are you just. Acting silly, hevel tebalu v'lama is the hevel tebalu. Is the dorsh kulei hevel? What generation is completely hevel? Have you always made the dorsh shall shvoit hashoyftim the dor of the shoyftim? That what shvoit hashoyftim? That even the judge was judged. Meaning the judges are corrupt. Reb Shimon Kach Haimer, Eiv number six b'mei achasveira shoya. He was in the time of Achishverish. And Emma Avril Nimsa Nashim Yafaz Kivnais Eoy Bechala Aret. Eoy had the most beautiful daughters in the whole world. Ezu Doshin is Bakshu by Nashim Yafaz. Avi Oymer is a Dorish Lachashverish. That's in the time of Achishverish. They're looking for someone, they found Esther. Beima be made David. Maybe it's in the time of David, something similar. The Siva Yavakshu Nari Yafa. Hasan Bechal Gvul Yisrael. That was in Eretz Yisrael. Hal Bechal Aret is in the entire world. Rebbe Nasan Oymer Eoy be made Machushvaya. It's in the time of the kingdom of Shva. Which is in time of Shleim Amelach. Shneimar v'tipol Shva v'tikachem. Shva took Eoiv's behaviors. V'chacham v'aymrim. Eoiv b'mei kazdim haya. In time of Nebuchadnezzar. Shneimar kazdim samu shloisha roshim. V'yashaymrim. Eoiv b'mei yakiv haya. So now, this Yashaymrim comes to answer the, the question. We ask, is Eoiv a Jew or a non-Jew? Here. V'yashaymrim Eoiv b'mei yakiv. That only according to the Yashaymrim could he be a non-Jew. The rest of the sheet is that he was Jewish. We're going to see in a second. That what? Iyoi be mei Yaakov ayo. V'dino bas Yaakov v'nosi. Meri dino. K'sivacha k'davera chas ha-nevala z'daberi. K'sivacha k'nevala z'v'yisrael v'yishchem. So nevala nevala, he married her. Kulu tanoi s'virilu diyoi m'yisrael ava. All the shitas will hold, or at least the shitas that we just said from the tanoi, but even the ones before. That what? Iyoi was Jewish. L'bar mi yishoyimrim. Besides the last one, that we could say he was a non-Jew. This is what we say, if he was a non-Jew, how did he have a shor of the Shekhinah? How did he have the Shekhinah? 
if he's an Andrew. Vama Mar because much is like this Shkin Alom is Ayel. I'm an Asin like. Much of Avinu asked that he should that Hashem shouldn't put his Shkin on top of the Goyim, and Hashem listened to him. Shenem Avinu Flinu and Ivi Amcha. We're going to be different. The Jewish nation is different. The generation of Eoiv was full of Arayis Zima. Chazisim, the lotion of staring, gazing at Arayis. Maybe to, to gaze, is talking about to have a Nevoah. Chazayin, here, Lashon of Chazayin. Chazayin Shayo ben Amayitz. Im kein, lama zeh hevel tabal lamali. The words lama zeh lamali. Why do we need the words lama zeh? In other words, lama zeh means you were, you were involved in Arayas, you were looking at Arayas, and then he says, lama zeh, why are you giving me Musr when you are shot ben Zima? If he was telling them, you're a Nevi Sheker, so he'd say, you're talking shtosim. You're not saying the right thing. Lama zeh means, why are you giving me musr after hevel tabalu, after you are gazing and, and being involved in a riot? What does it mean, shvayt ha-shoyftim? Literally, the meaning means, judging a judge. A generation that judges is judges. Oymer loy tol kesam mebeinei necha. Or mebein shinecha. Take a the the toothpick out of your teeth, Rashi says. So I'm lie. In other words, a guy comes to the judge. The judge says, "You have an, you're, you're a terrible person. We're gonna have to put you away. You you crossed the uh, in a walkway. You, you you cross without a walkway. You walk in the middle of the street. You're a terrible human being." So the guy says, "For the shofet, your honor, your meshugana, your murder. You just killed three people yesterday. You're really telling me that I crossed the thing." You have a little toothpick between your, your teeth. Here we even have a picture. Over here. You have a toothpick between your teeth. He says you have a stick in your head, stuck in your head, between your eyes. Okay. We're supposed to have something here, but I guess it didn't, uh, didn't work yet. Okay. As a side note, because... I, if, if you remember Maisa, you have to say it. Remember Maisa? Similar, but not the mamish, but within the thing. This, uh, the guy was very upset at me. He, he spoke to me afterwards. He says, why do you talk about this Maisa? You know, I had a private story with you and share. So that's why I'm going to repeat it now. <laughs> this, uh, I'm sitting on Shabbos, and this guy's a Talmud Chacham. Talmud Chacham, he gives shiurim. He's a big Eon guy. Uh, yeah, so he tells me, so I'm talking to him about Afiyah. He said, you have to do Afiyah me. It's not a fiyami, a rats, and this, that, the whole thing. So then he says, you know, during the conversation, he golfs three, four times a week. So how, how, how long does a, does a golf game take? It's four hours. It's a four hours. You know what you can do in four hours? You know how many daf gimari you can learn in four hours? He looks at him and he's serious. Mamash, he says, the fiyami is bitl taira. <laughs> he's sitting there four hours on the golf course, and the fiyami is bitl taira. It's, it's, it's in the head. In four hours, you already done half the line. <laughs> we could do a lot of emails in four hours. Ooh. <laughs> what's, the, what's the pshat though? What, yeah. What's the pshat with this? I hit it. You want, you want to schmooze about it now? No, the pshat is. Golf isn't bit of Torah, but there's not like this with these people. I don't know. No, no, it's, uh, that's what I'm saying. That's why I have a little bit of an issue with it. That's why I go out there, try to explain to people. I learned in yeshivas. I learned in yeshivas, uh, eon yeshivas. I learned in the say. <coughs> learned in the mirror in Israel. We all we learned was eon. Bikius wasn't a thing really. I mean, in the mirror, Rav Nassim Svi had us learn on a quicker pace, and he gave us money when we took the test. Whatever. But what happens is that I think you get stuck in a certain mahalach, and it might be the right mahalach, but everything else becomes treif puzzle. And even though you're a balabas and, and, and this, and even though you're on the golf course, and you should, you could do the, this extra learning, and you should, but you're stuck with this philosophy. It gets stuck when you're a kid. They, they knocked it into our head. There's nothing else. It's not true. 
there's this and there's this. If you can do even great, and he does it in this person. But I'm telling you, learn chess. You're already like 50 years old, and you, you know three, four masechtas. He says, ask me anyway. I asked him because he's actually, actually did have a lot of ideas, this person. He's a Talmud Chacham. So, so why can you learn it? Why can you add a daf? What's, it's going to hurt you. And then, Toich Kedai Dibur, Masih Lefituma, he's telling me how he spends four hours on a golf course. So you can go from hole to hole as you're driving, watch the shir. I don't know what. There's ways to do it. We'll talk about it later. There's people waiting here to finish the daf. Zogdi Gemara. Omar loy sigim. You tell a person your your money is is worthless. It's full of garbage. Your money. Your your pure silver is not pure. And what about you? Your your wine is full of water, like the famous meiser with the Rishmul Salanter. They came to ask him, Shaila, is this bosu b'chalav? The piece of meat fell into the milk. So he says, give me the milk guy. I need to speak to the milk guy. He says, listen, tell me, tell me what's going on here. Do you, put, do you add anything to the milk? He says, chas nothing. He says, I promise I'm not going to tell anybody. They're not tell me. He says, yeah, 50% water. So he told the people, 50%, don't worry about it. You could eat it. He didn't tell him why. You, you, could, you right. could eat it. It's not, but it's Whatever the Allah was over there. So somehow, after he told him that he's not going to tell anybody, everybody knows about this mice, whatever. It's a different child. Omar, Rabbi Shmuel ben Achmeini, Omar Bionis, and Kolaimer Malka Shva Isha Haisa, Eino Yelotoya. If you think that Queen Sheba was a woman, you're you're making a mistake. So I have here a picture in a lot. This is the famous uh, Queen Sheba? What? Ariel, I don't know who's doing the editing today. We had <laughs> Dr. Factors up the entire year. <laughs> it's a problem. So, is, is, it, is it what we're not? So, here's one of these exact, I think, like they didn't know the Gemara. Oh, it says, it says before, it's Queen Sheba. It's Queen Sheba means it's a, it's a woman. Fine. It's even made all tell on it. But it's not a woman. And I'll tell you, it's not talking about a woman. It's talking about the kingdom of Shva. The Masha actually says it is a woman. It means, don't think it's a simple woman. It's the Malachim come, the Sultan comes to Hashem. Where are you coming from? We'll see in a second what he said. He said, I was, I was touring the world. And the Sultan tells him, I went through the whole world. I couldn't find somebody as... Uh, how do you say Nemon? Um, faithful. Uh, yeah. Loyal. That's the word. Loyal. You told him, Hashem promises Avram Avinu the entire Yisrael. And then, and he couldn't even find a place to bury his wife in the whole, this whole country is yours. And he doesn't have five feet to bury his wife in that whole country. And then he had to pay for it millions of dollars he could have bought the whole Eretz Yisrael with that money. So what would you say if that happened to you? Somebody promised you, oh, this is yours. You can't even get one little nothing. Once we're here, i got to say the story. This is for you, but don't interrupt in the middle. This is a Gishmak of Isa. You're going to like it. It's Yidua. You know this one. A guy comes home, and his wife is very, very upset at him. What happened? She says, are you crazy? This is what you buy me for my birthday? You buy me a grave? You should be embarrassed. So he says, a grave is an unbelievable thing. I bought you a grave because it's a schus farichus yomim. No, no. The next year, she says, no. And what did you get me this year? He says, first, you have to use the gift I got you last year. <laughs> 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 it wasn't. No, you hear So you hear this, Rabbi Boy says, it's unbelievable. This is this is what the the, the, the Satan is talking about. From all the Nisyainas that uh, that Ram Vino had, kill your own son here with the knife, he's un- killing his own son, it's Ben Yachid. No, this. Hey Tachana, because Bohu promises me all this, and I can't even get a grave there. Lahira, but he didn't even think in his mind that something's wrong here. It's Pasha that Shem knows what he's doing and that's it. I'll tell you this real quick, Maisa, because there's nothing else. There's a Bachar who it was very, very hard for him to learn. So his Roshiva took him to, to, uh, to Reb Chaim Kinevsky. And the Roshiva tells Reb Chaim Kinevsky, I want to introduce you to the biggest Masman in our Yeshiva. Yeah. This Bachar 
he, he can't learn. He can't learn, but he learns four hours a day. Out of the whole day, he's able to learn four hours. And it says that Toiva Achas Betzar, So since it's very hard for him to learn, so his four hours is 400 hours. And Memele is not a single Bach and Yeshiva that learns four out, 400 hours a day. So Rav Chaim Kenevsky says, wow, unbelievable. I want a bracha from you. Tell this bracha, I want a bracha from you. And I'm just saying, sometimes it's hard, it's tough. You don't know what's going on. Hashem himself told you this. No, you go right there, you get that kind of schar, unbelievable schar. It's neget to all of us because we know what we're talking about here. Sometimes it's not, hard, not easy to sit and learn. Sometimes you come back, you're up the whole night, business on the phone here in America, here in Israel. A lot of us work the whole night on the phone. People here, they, they, they sleep two hours and they come to the daf. But one bitzar, one hour of bitzar, is like a hundred shleib bitzar. So the Sultan finishes saying that Abraham is the greatest of the great. Says Hashem, but even Eiv is even greater. Did you even pay attention to my to my Eved Eiv? Nobody like him. It's greater by Eiv than Avram. You're you fearful of Hashem. It adds those words. V'sar meira. My v'sar meira. Or Rabbi Shmuel Bar Shmuel. Rabbi Bar Shmuel says, "Ioy vatrim b'memoynaya." What's so special about him? He was large. To me, this is this gemara is incredible. Menhagi shaloi la menoyis and chatsi pruta lechen vini ioy vitrim shaloi. If you have to pay your worker half a pruta, what are you going to do? You can't give him half a pruta. So you go, you buy some potato chips in the in the convenience store. You buy two bags and you give him one bag like this. Eiv gives both bags. Vater gave him, but how much? He gave him a half a pruta. So you see from here, unbelievable thing to me. It hit me that the Gemara is not saying that he was greater than Avram Avinu because he gave a million dollars to this shul and a million dollars to this moisad and ten million dollars over here. He gave people the half a pruta because godless is measured also. And the Gemara says, not also, but especially in the small things. The small things. The little smile, the little, the, the small things, the things that don't cost. Vatron, what? In the half a pruta. You hear what's going on here? I don't know. I come up with a better pshat. I don't know pshat really. But as I state though, that he gave the half a pruta, and that's why he's greater than Avram Avinu. You know why he's fearful of you? You protected him. My my see other berachta or Rav Shmuel bar Rav Yitzchok kol anoito pruta miyov mizbareich. Whoever takes a pruta from miyov is blessed. Reminds me because yesterday was the art side of the Bavitzer Rebbe and uh, he used to give out dollars. Kol anoito pruta mizbareich. And I got to mention this. I have to mention this. One of the greatest gifts that I ever got, besides from Aaron Hirsch, I got the uh, art scroll. Um, tablet, the giant one, and it's beautiful. I got a, a lot of very nice gifts. This, on, I didn't show you guys. On Friday, a kid came here, he made a scene on Shishu Sidra Mishnah, and he gave me a painting of myself. He drew it and took him many, many hours. So, but this, Rav Zalman Tversky, is big Talmud Chacham, a chosh of a guy, and he gives me a lot of physics when I go to Chicago, he's the manal of the, the Moisad over there. He gave me, I think, one of the two dollars that he ever got from the Rebbe, he gave me one, and he's a Lubavitch Chassid. And he gave it to me. So that was, that was very hush. Okay, anyway, Zokti Gemara. <laughs> I still have it. It came with a note. It's stuck in there. Mayu McNeil Paras. He also gave me a $500 bottle of wine. He's not a gvir or anything, but I'm saying, okay, very nice. Uh, hint, hint. Mayu McNeil Paras Barats. Omer Yosef Archanino, McNeil Shaliyov, Partsuk Deir Shalaylam. That even his sheep were different than everything else. But no, you should let him save him, argue and say, he's him. Mikneo, usually a wolf kills a sheep. Mikneo Shalio is the Izim Hargim says, Avim, here we even have a great picture. The sheep kill the wolves. Vulam Shachno Yotcha, Vigab Chola Shaloi, Im Loyal Ponecho Yver Cheka. Vayemesh Shalom Satan, Hini Kola Shabi Loi Biotcha. Everything he has, you could take and destroy and, and, and harm him. Rak Elo Val Tishlach Yodecha, don't touch him, the Goyme. Okay, we'll stop right over here. Raboisai, have a wonderful day.